So I am a big fan of the app Mercari. I started using it at the beginning of the year and so far I've made about 100 sales and a lot of money on it, which is great. But there are some things that I've learned along the way that definitely cost me some money and I wanted to share those with you today because although it is an easy app to get started on, there are some common mistakes people make that is definitely costing them money. So in this video, I'm going to tell you the four biggest mistakes you can make when you are shipping things that you have sold on the reselling app Macari. The first mistake is not actually knowing how much your item weighs and just letting the computer choose it for you. I wanna add that it is really not tough to weigh your things. I put it off for a while because I didn't wanna buy a scale, but then I got this one at Walmart for like, it's like a kitchen scale, a mini kitchen scale. I think I got this for like five bucks. So most lightweight clothing things that you sell on Macari automatically kind of go into that one under one pound category. That's been my experience. Very rarely does the computer auto recognize that something you're selling might be even lighter and it will put you into the under eight ounces category. Here's why it's important to know if the thing that you're shipping is under a pound or under eight ounces because the shipping for under eight ounces is actually less. It's not a huge difference, but the difference for under eight ounces is $4.60, where the payment for one pound to ship is $4.99. So that's 40 cents. We're not getting rich off of 40 cents, but in the end, if you're selling 100 things, that turned out to be some money that you are not getting. Is that $40? Second mistake, and I've got a visual aid on this one. This is what prompted this video. It is using the wrong materials to ship your items on Macari. Now I am a Poshmark user enthusiast as well. I have sold over 500 things on Poshmark and I made the transition to Macari and I thought, oh, well, shipping sounds pretty much the same. So here's what I was doing. You know, these uh, free things you can get from the post office for priority mail. Well, for some reason, I just assumed if I was shipping on a Mercari that I could use this too. That's not true. You need to provide something more like this, a poly mailer that is not from the postal service. If you're shipping anything first class, you have to supply the envelope. Maybe you're wondering, does this really matter? Will I really get caught? Yes, you will. Now this I did not do intentionally. This was truly a mistake because I knew better and I was just rushing. So I'm gonna cover up the address label. But this was a Macari package. You see that first class label? Well, I accidentally was rushing and I was packaging this up with a bunch of Poshmark orders. So I just think I like got confused and it must have put a Poshmark thing in a poly mailer, but it doesn't matter. The point is they sent this back to me with this note. This did not go to my buyer. I had to cancel the sale. For a while I was confused because the uh, notification on the app said something about like address incorrect. And it wasn't until it got sent back to me that I realized what the problem was. It's really embarrassing. And it was a good sale too. I was gonna make like $20. Don't do that. I definitely lost money on that because I don't have the $25 or whatever I was gonna make in my pocket right now. And I'm actually glad this came back to me because this could have been much worse. They could have sent it to her and said, give me $8.45. Number three mistake is not taking advantage of the free materials you do get to use for shipping if you're doing priority mail. Now, if you don't know, you can get free shipping supplies from the United States Postal Service by going to their website and just picking out what you want. And these are free and they'll be delivered to your home for free. But if you live in the South like I do, you might be waiting six months. Just kidding, just like three months. Like seriously, like three months. Order before you run out. And my final, Big mistake that I made for a while was being afraid to venture out and ship on my own on Macari. I started using Pirate Ship after a couple people told me that they were getting 
cheaper discounts on the shipping using pirate ship and i have learned so much because i did sell a lot of shoes on makari i've used pirate ship that shaves a little bit of money off of the top of that but i've also found that the super super lightweight stuff you can get a cheaper rate on pirate ship pirate ship seems like a lot of work and i'm not going to lie definitely is a couple more steps and time is money so this may or may not be right for you but i do enjoy the discounted rate once you have an account here you can do a quick rate quote but let's say hey it's uh five ounces see check out that weight three dollars and 31 cents so this is something that like if you had like a sports bra a tank top really lightweight small size t-shirt you can get that 341 shipping which is a dollar and 10 cents less than the cheapest shipping option that you will have on makari okay so let's say you're shipping shoes on makari and you really want it to be in a box it weighs just over a pound let's check and see what the rate is on pirate ship it appears that if you have a package which is the same size as a priority mail shoe box and actually you could even use this priority mail shoe box with this option for 10 cents which might be the best option for you if you end up saving money from the packaging but so this is what i'm saying so you can get the rate of 876 to send the shoes on pirate ship rather than sending them on the makari shipping which is about eleven dollars with the priority mail service so makari is great for lots of different options with shipping and now you know some of the big mistakes that i've made and i've seen other people make along the way but first you need to make sales on Macari in order to start shipping on there. So check out this video that I'm gonna post right here. It's got all of my tips on what's selling on Macari and how to go from Poshmark to Macari and I explain the differences. If you liked this video, thanks for watching. I'm all about helping people get things out of the landfill and give people deals sustainable fashion. You do not need to pay a lot of money to look great and you can help other people look great and make money while you're doing it. Thanks again for watching me on So Much To Wear. If you like this video, definitely hit the like button if it's gonna save you some money and subscribe to my channel to see more like this in the future.